of the most powerful soothing sounds in the world is the sound of the ocean waves. Nothing like the sound of the ocean to bring calm and wellness into ourselves. Imagine if you could bring the sound of the ocean into your own house, or that you can imitate the sound of the waves with your own hands. Well, today we are going to be building together a magical drum that will allow you to do just that. I call it the cardboard pizza box ocean drum. I suggest that you watch the video with an adult, someone like your mom or your dad or a teacher, so they can help you while we build the drum. These are the four steps we will follow. Number one, getting the pizza box ready. Number two, what do we put inside the box? Number three, how do we play it? And step number four, how can we decorate our drum? So these are the materials that you will need to build your cardboard pizza box ocean drum. A pizza box from your local pizza restaurant, a roll of duct tape, a pair of scissors, a piece of cardboard, a ruler, and a marker. Okay, and the first step is just to make sure we paste the edges of the box. cut the four stripes of cardboard for our ocean drum. All right, for the next step, you're going to add four stripes of cardboard. Just notice that on these two, you're going to have to cut Well, now that the box is ready, the next question is, what do we put inside to imitate the sound of the ocean? Well, here I have two options for you. One, our whole green peas. Another option can also be mung beans. Yes, keep in mind these are just two options. You can experiment with other materials and other objects or other products that you find in your local grocery store, yes? Well, first of all, why don't we listen to the whole 
green peas. Okay, let's pour them inside. And on the other side, the mung beans. Yes? Now, the main difference between these two is that the green peas are a little bigger, right? And that's gonna change the sound a little bit. So, why don't we listen first to the box with a whole green peas. sounds so beautiful. I think the, the big piece really give me um, a little deeper sound, um, kind of maybe make me think of maybe bigger waves in the ocean. Yes, let's see how the sound changes. We'll use the mount beans, yes. The sound of these beans is amazing too, right? The smaller beans, maybe for me, give me more of the high tones, right? It feels almost like it resembles a little bit the, the, the smaller waves, maybe that are closer, right, to you um, in the shore. Um, now, as I said before, you can experiment and find different tones. For example, how about if we combine the two boxes? Maybe it will make us um, hear the sound of the bigger waves that may be at the background, right, in the ocean, and also the sound of the smaller ones that are closer to us. Let's listen. That has such a rich texture. I surely enjoy it. I love all of them. How about you? Well, the choice is yours. Pick the sounds that you like the best and the materials that you like the best for your cardboard pizza box. After you have finished selecting what materials or objects you want to put inside your drum, make sure you seal the whole drum with duct tape. Yes, just like that.
an essential step in learning how to play a musical instrument is to be able, of course, to listen closely to a musician that is a master of that instrument. In this case, the master itself will be the ocean. Should we go and listen to the ocean? Yes, of course, the ocean has been making these sounds for about 3.8 billion years. So I have included three samples so you can listen to these sounds. Remember, your ears are your most powerful tool in learning how to play an instrument and of course in learning how to imitate the sound of the ocean. After you finish listening to these samples, you can again listen to them again and play along with them using your drum. Yes, I have also included in the description of the video two links to two amazing instrumental songs that were composed, inspired in the sounds of the ocean. They were composed and uh, recorded by students of the Sussex Avenue School uh, during their progressive percussion and mindfulness residencies. You should also listen to these tracks and download them for free um, so you can play along with them too. Yes? All right. So what do you say? Let's go. Let's go and listen to the ocean. Yes. Here we go. After listening to the ocean, you want to try to imitate its sound on the drum. There's not one way of doing it or a school where you can go to learn where, how to play the ocean drum. You just have to use your own instincts, right? And as I said before, your ears. But here I'm going to give you some tips that I find um, helpful, that hope, I hope that you will find helpful, yes? One tip will be that when you're playing, try to make 
circular movement. With the drive, yes? So just like the ocean, it's always making the sound, right? Now, you can also try adding a little rhythm to it. If you listen to the sound of the ocean, right, the waves have different rhythms to it, right? And the space between each wave and the other creates that kind of rhythm and a sense of um, tension and release, yes? Like, for example, when you start, like, you're waiting for the wave to come. It's a soft sound. It's building up tension, and then the ocean wave comes and release that energy, right? You're still moving, now waiting, soft sound, and then the wave comes, wait, soft, and then the wave comes, yes? Now, something also that I find interesting, when I, with my hand, I can feel, right, the vibration of the beans moving inside. So I can feel when the beans are kind of rolling on the very edge of the drum. It's kind of a higher sound. higher tone to it. But if I make them roll more to the center of the drum, you start getting the low sounds. High sounds on the edge. Low sounds in the center. Yes? Well, have fun with it. Play with it. Experiment move it in different directions with different rhythms, yes? And always, as I said before, go back and listen to the sound of the ocean. The ocean is our best teacher for this particular instrument. Enjoy. This is one of the ideas that you can use to decorate your ocean drum. These are two pictures that I printed. I took those pictures when I visited the ocean and you can use them if you want. Just go to the link in the description of this video and you can download them and print them for your own drum. Yes, also you will need some glue and an extra detail that I have um, were these little shells that I collected and little rocks that I collected at the beach, we can use those to, um, to decorate the drum in this example. All right, now let's put some glue on the picture. Well, that looks awesome already. If you want to add some little details, you can add some of the seashells. For this idea on how to decorate your ocean drum, we're going to create a collage. So you need to get different magazines or catalogs, old catalogs that you can cut. Okay, you're going to use a pair of scissors and also a roll of transparent packing tape. So first you want to look for pictures that kind of have the color of the ocean. For example, this one has the beautiful emerald color. Once you have a bunch of these pieces uh, with the colors of the ocean, you start organizing them to create a design on, the, on your drum. From darker to lighter colors. Just 
play with it. And see what you come up with. Okay, now, after you have a design that you like, we're gonna use the tape. For the bottom part, so you have the option of keeping the uh, an opening. You can just paste half of it. Seal it temporarily. You can just put a piece of tape right there. Yeah, you can remove that later if you need to. And before I forget, one last tip I want to give you. This is true with this instrument or when playing any musical instrument, especially any drum, don't forget to breathe. Yes, especially with this one, I feel like I want to breathe with the same rhythm of the instrument. It creates an immediate connection and feeling with the instrument. It kind of becomes part of your body and breathing, of course, in any med meditation practice, is it's the, the, the anchor and the center to, to um, a good session of meditation. Um, so when we play a musical instrument, in a way we are kind of meditating, right? We're centering our mind around the sound that we are creating. Try it. You, I think you'll find it very, very helpful and very powerful and very relaxing and very um, invigorating to breathe along with your drum. Before saying goodbye for today, I want to thank you for joining me in this journey. I am sure this instrument is going to bring a lot of peace, joy and light and inspiration into your daily life. I hope you enjoy it and until very soon. Bye-bye.